of the universal language. Hey, 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 let's celebrate music as a universal language. Say we want music education. <laughs> that took place during the four periods I was in campus. This was the time when I decided that I'm going to do music education as a degree program. The two years after high school went by very quickly because I was heavily involved in music activities with my church. Uh, I remember also during the Kenya Music Festivals I was busy accompanying students. And I remember back in high school actually when we had chosen subjects that we were going to pursue as careers, first on the list was pharmacy followed by medicine, nursing, and then um, education in uh, sciences. M music was actually not part of the choices. This was a time when our parents believed that some cream careers that they wanted their children to pursue. And because I was good in sciences, it was actually obvious that I was going to pursue a career in, uh, in sciences, and especially pharmacy or medicine. And uh, when music came into my life and started growing, in fact, this actually took part the later part of my high school and then into the pre-campus. This is when so much happened that made me make now my final decision later on to pursue music education. Otherwise, this was something that was really not planned for well in advance. <laughs> for you to get to know what you've been called to do in the university. The first thing was to first know that you've made it to the university and then later on you were given the program that you're going to pursue as an undergraduate. So for me, I was surprised when I was given my third choice, which was an education in the sciences and I had missed pharmacy by just two points. I had more marks for nursing, but somehow they didn't put me through nursing, which was a bit disappointing for my parents and I at the time because I really wanted to, to pursue a career with my sciences. Funny enough, at some point I really felt that probably this was God's doing because my music had started taking a lot of precedence in my life and I felt that probably this was his doing, that I just get into education, but then it was in sciences, actually specializing in maths, uh, biology and uh, chemistry. So my parents Unfortunately for them, they didn't have so much cloud and I mean, having been uh, raised in a poor background, they didn't really have anyone they could go to to try and change um, the placement that had been given. So they just went with it because at least their consolation was that I'm going to do education in the sciences. So with that, I prepared to go into the university. <music> to the university came and it was such an exciting day my father was so proud of me being the firstborn in a family of five he knew that there was a bright future for the rest of, he, of my siblings uh, because obviously I was a good example <laughs> so suitcase in hand we marched into the university and he helped me through the registration process and settling in so I remember on the second day I went to the Dean of uh, Education offices to just speak to the dean about my growing desire to want to blend the sciences and music. Of course I had actually not talked to my parents about this. This was just a personal decision. I was quite fearful of letting my parents know about this growing desire to also pursue music and I thought I'm, I'm going to find that for myself once I get to campus whether there is a way I could blend the two subjects just on my own first because I was afraid of being criticized uh, or just them really discouraging me from that path because I felt deep within me 
the desire for music had really grown to that level where I felt that I can't just drop it. I knew because I was going to the highest institution of learning, surely I'll find something that could work both ways. So yeah, I went confidently to the dean's um, office and uh, I remember having to pass through the uh, PA and when I mentioned if you can give me some advice on how it works if you want to blend both sciences and, and music and I remember her doing this funny look thinking girl that's not gonna work <laughs> that doesn't work you're either a scientist or an artist you know you choose you, ca you can't have both ways so my face fell and I was like okay this is not is, is not what I thought it was going to be I actually wondered to myself why can't I do both if somebody has a talent or gifted in both sciences and arts why are we still uh, practicing a limiting uh, way of placement because it's, I just felt it was not fair and of course it looks like I'm the first student to have ever asked for that combination so I remember once I spoke to the dean it was either I choose to do a bachelor of education in sciences or a bachelor of education in arts. Uh, they told me to think about it a few days and then come and give them my decision because it, uh, we were not just starting the studies just right then. We were given that week to settle in. So off I went. Then I found myself looking for the music department offices as I wanted to know where the music department was situated. And um, once I found it, uh, by some coincidence, I, I bumped into the, uh, the late uh, Professor Senogazaki and he was actually the head of the music department at that time and he was such a sweet old man and quickly engaged me uh, as a fresher and I, we found ourselves talking about music and he asked me whether I'm, I'm going to study music and I told him uh, I've not made my mind up yet. So slowly by slowly we get more acquainted. At this point he didn't know who I was, neither did I really know who he was also. So once we got acquainted, he was so surprised to hear my name and say, are you the one who was uh, known for accompanying very well at the music festivals? I said, oh, you, you actually have heard about me? I was so shocked because remember I was a really young lady and yes, I knew I'd done quite a bit, but I didn't know that I'd actually gotten to that to the campus level. And the, the, the shocking thing, the amazing thing for me was that the moment he made the connection, he just told me, I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you to join campus because I've heard a lot about you and how your, your contribution in the music scene so far. And uh, I would like to recruit you immediately to be a member of the Kenyatta University Choir. Oh my, you have no idea how I felt. I mean, here I was. <laughs> I've just entered campus. I didn't know anyone. No, I'm a fresher, so I, I didn't even expect in, in my wildest dreams. I had somebody inside there at his level thinking about somebody like me coming in to be to be part of um, of a choir that was well known. You know, the K choir had quite a reputation uh, in the university. So I, I was so excited. Of course, my answer was yes, yes, yes. So he put me in the soprano as a soprano and also decided that I'm going to also be helping out with accompaniments. So I was so, so excited. And I said, in the immediate effect, I'm going to join. I didn't even think about it. And then that's when now the, the real turning point happened. I said, you know what? My decision is made. It has already been made. I'm already destined to do this for life. So I decided, you know what? I'm going back to the dean of uh, education and saying, okay, if you, if I can't mix both sciences and music, then I choose to do a bachelor of education in music. Apparently, it was actually quite easy to, to change from an education in sciences to an education in the arts in music because to them, <laughs> they considered it as a demotion. And I remember the dean looking at me wondering why I would actually want to do that. Thankfully, he didn't question my decision. He just let me go with it. So it was really just as easy as that. And was that some things just come along the way even when you've made so many plans you just find um, you know something just by chance happens 
and things change and um, this is one of the things in life that taught trained me to also be very careful not to judge people when they make decisions and I encourage parents because now I'm also a parent I remember having counseled so many parents along the way when some parents brought their children to me to learn music later and and they were concerned because they're thinking oh I would have wanted my child to do a degree in medicine but this child has decided they want to pursue music and I encouraged them I said look we, I did not go into music because I failed. Because those days, if you told somebody that you pursued music as an education, they thought it's because you failed. And I would actually go ahead and bring my um, high school transcripts and show them and say, look, I was an A student. Allow for someone to, uh, as a parent now, to, to allow your children to pursue their passions. Actually, what we should do as parents and educators, teachers, um, all the stakeholders involved is that when we are bringing up young people, the young ones, we need to give them space to explore their passions and their giftings. You never know how far they will go with them. And we should never belittle somebody's gift because this gift might just be very well what they're going to use for the rest of their lives. What we should be involved in is to grow and encourage them to have a proper education in their areas of gifting. Be sure to tune in for the next episode which now will give the highlights of my music activities in the university. Um, please remember to like, comment and share. Looking forward to seeing you soon.